Retro Rock plays everything. Hey there gamers, it's time for one of the more requested videos, which is the Game Shell How to Use a Larger SD Card video. It's actually really pretty easy once you know what to do, and I'm gonna take you through it step by step, but we are going to start with some things that we need before we get started. And of course, the first thing you need is your SD card. Uh, make sure to keep your old SD card. I, since you're upgrading, that isn't really a worry, but keep it around so that you always have a base image to work with that you know works. Uh, the other thing you're gonna need is some way to get it into your laptop or desktop or whatever you're running. So uh, that might be a USB adapter. It might just be that you have a card reader in the side and this adapter will adapt it over, or you might not need the adapter at all. Hard to say that's very specific to your own machine. You'll have to get there for yourself. All right, let's look at some programs we're gonna need. Software downloads. Before we get started, we're going to need to download a couple of programs. First thing is going to be Disk Genius. I know a lot of us use Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It will not work in this case, so you absolutely are going to want to download this one. We are using Ext for file systems, and this is the only one that will handle it for free, other than, of course, going into Ubuntu or a live CD or something like that. Anyway, Make sure you download it and install it before we begin. Next, Etcher. You can use any disk imager. This is just the one I tend to use because it's cross-platform and I like to use the same software on each platform. Download it and install it. That's at belina.io slash Etcher. And of course, I'm gonna have links to all of these. Next, we have 7-Zip. Depending on your operating system, you will want the 32-bit or 64-bit version of it. Download the one according to your operating system. Don't worry too much. If you get the wrong one, it will correct you, and you'll just have to download the other one. But that's 7-zip.org. Finally, you're going to need the latest firmware, and that's at forum.clockworkpi.com slash c slash game shell slash firmware, and go down and look at this first pinned one scroll up to the top of it and then download this release right here you can download it here or here or anywhere but just download it and that will be all of it this of course you don't have to install i'll show you how to decompress that in a moment decompressing the image file Alrighty then, we have downloaded the Clockwork OS, and notice how I've got it in Downloads image. You'll probably have it in Downloads, but my Downloads folder is a big old mess, so I wanted things to be simple. I am going to right-click on this. Make sure, of course, that you have installed 7-Zip already by this point. In fact, all the programs that I told you about should be installed at this point, and I'm going to extract it to another directory. You don't have to do that. You can just say extract here. It doesn't really matter where you extracted to, just as long as the file gets extracted. And what you should have at the end is a .img file. And we'll wait a few seconds and let it get to that. Okay, now that it's done extracting, I'm just gonna take a quick look at it. Looks okay, should be right around eight gigs in size. And it is now time to put in your new 64 gig SD card. There we go. And it popped up, I'm gonna X out of here. Please note the location of this image file. You will need it in a second when we go over to use Etcher. Writing the image with Etcher. Next, we're going to run Etcher to burn this image. And one thing I want you to notice when I start up here is, mine throws up a big old error. <laughs> And not 100% sure whether yours will or not, but I've heard other people complain about this. Uh, just hit OK. It's OK. It'll work just fine. Now we're going to select our image. You remember where you put that image, right? And I put mine in Downloads, Image, and in here. And now I have selected my image. All right. Now, most likely, if you have your SD card in here already, it's going to select the right one, but you make absolutely sure that this is the correct device because if you don't, you're going to write over one of your own drives. So make sure anything other than that SD card are unplugged 
and make absolutely sure that it's pointing towards it. See how it's on device E? I know this is device E. Now we're going to click flash and UAC is going to come up and I'm going to hit yes, not 100% sure whether it recorded that part. And now it's going to take a while to do this. Not really long, but it does take quite a while and I'm running a fairly beefly, beefly, a beefly computer. A beefy computer. At the end of the burning, you're going to get these messages that are going to ask you to format disk. Absolutely, positively, do not do that. If you do that, you're going to have to restart because you're going to wreck the image. And just for the record, this message is going to come out a lot when you're working with this. So just ignore them, X them out, get them out of there, and do not do that. All right, I'm going to let Etcher finish validating. And now Etcher is complete, so we're going to X out of that. Expanding the file partition in Disk Genius. All right, now we're inside Disk Genius, and looking down the left-hand side, you've got to find the already created disk. Make sure you're working with that one. Select the Clockwork Pi partition, that's x four, and select Extend Partition. And you're going to make sure it takes up the whole rest of the available space and just hit start. Are you sure you want to resize the partition? Yes, of course. Once the process is complete, you may get that message. Please insert a disk into USB drive. Cancel that. Absolutely do not allow it to format a disk. Once it's done, just hit complete and exit the software. Installing the SD card. All right, let's bust this thing open. And put in the new upgraded SD card. And I'm just gonna push a little bit from the back and as you can see, here's the old one. Give her a little push so she comes out. There we go. And pop the new one in, and if I have a problem, which I'm having right now, I just use the old one. Push it back in there. There we go. Don't recommend putting the micro SD card in your mouth like I did. Probably not the smartest thing. All right, I'm plugging mine in. And now we're just going to make sure that we have all the available drive space that we expect. Go into settings. storage and there we go I now have nearly 60 gigs of available space and that is it you now have successfully upgraded to a larger SD card if this video is useful to you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I will have more clockwork pie coming up bye